we rolling? Ah, note the red light. Indeed. Jim Nixon here. No, no, no! What? I know, I know, I know, the whole thing, but... <laughs> right. Oh, I'll wait, I know, this is even better. Start again. Jim Dexter here with WUSB and uh, covering a controversy that has uh, arisen amid the radio time, some perhaps of uh, uh, some import to uh, all of us here listening and watching. Here with me is Jim Wiener, and uh, he has a few things to, to uh, talk to us about. Uh, Mr. Wiener. Yes. Um, Mr. Dexter. Yes. Um, if I may call you, Mr. Dexter. Oh, you certainly may. Thank you. Okay. Uh, there, I understand that there's some controversy about one of, one of the programs that we air here at USB. Well, yes, I, I just want to clarify something. There's some confusion uh, before we get into the interview. I, my name is not Jim Wiener. Oh, uh, I'm it's, sorry. It's Bozo Wiener. Right. I, I, Thank you. Me. I, yes. there was, there's a, one of your... There's another... There's a, some confusion. No, it's perfectly yeah. understandable. I just wanted to make sure that you and the viewers understood that. You see, uh, yes, yes, thank you. Right. Yes, there is some controversy. I tuned in my radio the other evening, a, it's a Wednesday evening, I tuned it to uh, 90.1 megahertz. That would be WUSB. Yes, it was WUSB, Stony Brook. And I was very shocked to hear what I heard. I had just finished listening to that pleasant bluegrass program. Backward bluegrass, with yes. Jim Russ. Pleasant music. I was eating some uh, dinner and I dropped my fork. Why did I drop my fork? Well, the program came on following the Back Porch Bluegrass program titled Turmoil. When I first heard that this program was coming on the air, I thought it was some exploration of uh, psychological issues or perhaps political issues, issues involving conflict. Imagine my surprise when I realized that it was a music program and the, the title Turmoil was a self-describing adjective for the type of music played. And Mr. Steve Kreitzer seems like a generally decent young fellow. He's the host of that program. Turmoil. Turmoil. And he played music if you can call it that. That absolutely shocked and stunned me. I could see why he called it turmoil. And yet, he was not calling it turmoil as a negative adjective. He seemed proud of the fact that was called turmoil. It was a cacophony of sounds that seemed to involve a predominance of guitars. But it was not the pleasant lilt of a guitar played during perhaps a folk song or a light jazz piece, but instead it utilized, and yes, I don't exaggerate, electrical amplification. Mm. Needless to say, you were taken aback. It was extraordinarily strident. It was loud, and the singing, if you could call it that, was a tumult of screams, of shouting. There seemed to be an undercurrent in this music of, I hope my listeners will excuse my references here, but I speak in a purely clinical, analytical fashion. There seemed to be a sexual undertone. I got the feeling that these people singing were well, they were mostly males that I heard, and they seemed to be exhorting females to go out on dates with them. And I was shocked, shocked and saddened. It was just a, a repeatedly quick, loud, bashing noise that I heard. Reference was made during the course of the program to a genre of Ones of punk rock. Is this what it has come to? Is this what the young people of today see themselves doing? Emulating punks? Why? 
I surely, dearly wished, hoped that I was mistaken, that the term punk rock referred to those devices that give off a an aroma. Let's see, the word I'm searching for is um, when they're burned during the summer, it gives off a uh, an incense type of aroma, and that maybe rock referred to a geological formation. Hmm. But no, I see. I say punk. No, I punk see. as in hooligan. Rock as in yes, rock and roll. The very music of the, the demon himself. Well, I don't want to go quite that far. There are those that might say that, but you see. I have faith in our young people. I think they're just a bit misdirected. And I hope to have a conversation with Mr. Kreitzer soon, because again, he seems like a reasonably, a rather actually intelligent young man who I think has perhaps been led astray. And that is why I soon hope to be meeting with him. Thus the, the controversy, the turmoil controversy itself with Bozo Wiener has been uh, put forth. Now we, we do indeed wait for a reply from the turmoil master himself, Steve Kreitzer. Now, back to you, Mike. <coughs> Thank you. I'm Mike Juhans here. I have to interview the gentleman here. Mr. Corley, can you tell us what is new with you? Why would I want Get away from me! What is this? I'm serious. Out of your mind or something? Is that crazy? I understand you're in the midst of the radio. I'm trying to think, okay? I've got a radio program coming up. What do you want? You're on the air. Come on. Ah! See what I mean? I'm messing around like this. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to get psyched for my show. And here you are flying around with this stupid thing. It's a razor. Get away from me. I don't need a razor. I need an idea for my show. What am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? I do a talk show. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Hey, I'm stuck about that. I don't know what to talk about. I can fill a couple hours with that, can't I? Easily. Sure. You keep out of this. I've already spoken to you. Well, speak to me again. You know, you've already, you already usually don't know what I'm talking about anyway, so I don't think it matters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really, uh, Thank you. 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 Hold it. Anything incredible in the news there? Nothing credible at all. This is the Associated Press we're talking about. Looks like a large sheet of lasagna. You want to try tasting? Uh -huh. Okay. I got that. I got a promo queued up for one. Hi. Hi. Promo. Promo for kids. Okay. You got two seconds. <laughs> Don't believe the hype. It's four minutes after ten o'clock. But believe us when we say we want you to call six. Three two six nine oh one. We're at the end of the radio time, folks. We only have two hours to go, and this is brain damage. The last two hours of the radio time, and appropriately enough, it's brain damage. Appropriately enough, for sure. We're going to have all kinds of uh, celebrities stopping in to talk about uh, what they've been doing over the past ten days and what we're going to be doing over the next uh, few years here at WUSB. And you can be a part of that in two ways, by calling up the program. We're going to give you special numbers to call, because the pledge number is the usual phone number. If you call that, we'll be expecting you to make a pledge. 
because we need your help. 632-6901. Show your support for WUSB. Show your support for brain damage because there aren't many places where you can hear brain damage, are there? All right. Mike Juhas, you're here, aren't you? Hello, Eric. How you doing, Mike? Just fine, thank you. How are you today? Okay, well, Mike, uh, as we all know, is uh, in here from Wisconsin, and uh, he came in just to do uh, just to do the radiothon. And um, now he's here. He's going he's all the way puppy. across the hall to, uh, to do the news. And we're going to do the news, and then we're going to uh, to uh, get into our program for today. But let me first again give the, the phone number, 632-6901, area code 516. We're going to have some real special deals for you folks. For the ones that waited till the very end, we want to see some, uh, some strong response for this program here. Some real strong response. Okay, we still got a ways to go before we uh, we get to our our goal. Six three two six nine zero oh, one, area code five one six. And let me let me hasten to uh, to caution you folks out there. If you have called this program in the past and been on the air and spouted your rhetoric, just think of how many places there are where you can do the same thing, huh? Anybody know of any other place we can do that? <coughs> no way. No. Uh, I don't think very many places. Right out. I don't think there are very many places, folks, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, then ask the question, hey, is that worth 20 bucks or something to keep that going for another year or so? To keep our signal from being stepped upon? I won't say by who, but uh, I won't say that they're fascists or that anything like that, because, you know, that, w that wouldn't be right to say that. That wouldn't be sporting. It wouldn't be sporting. It might be accurate, but I'm not going to say it is or isn't. The fact of the matter is, our signal is in trouble, and unless we get help from our listeners, and uh, the help we get in the next two hours will certainly mean something, but unless we get that help, you may not be able to hear us in the future. It's a sad fact, but it's true. So give a call now, 632-6901. I want to see those phones light up. You're going to read the whole thing yourself. I'll let you read half the story. Yeah, I think it's better that way. I don't know if, if anyone caught the Voice of Long Island, the union show yesterday. Uh, Mike and I used to do a program called The Voice of Long Island many years ago. About 50 years ago, was it? Well, something. Well, turn of the century. Something no, not, like I mean, turn of the century, and, you know, when it reaches the, you know, 50s. That, that area. And that show, uh, a lot of us grew up with that show. A lot of us sort of regressed into childhood with that show, too. Uh, but we used to read the news. And I remember one newscast in particular, we were throwing water at each other during the news. Another, another one, we were throwing spitballs. And remember the time I got the ice cube down? That was another one. Somebody threw an ice cube down your back, yes. And uh, that was uh, that was something else. That was definitely something else. Uh, right now, Mike is ripping the news into very many pieces so that we can we can each read part of a story. You don't have to rip it that much. He's doing a very careful job in this. Six three two six nine. Oh one. Could it be that nobody cares? Nobody cares about the radio station anymore? You think we're this is our last day of the radio phone and, and we're all taxed so emotionally and so physically that uh, there's just nothing left? Come on, folks. Come on. We know that you're out there. For thirty five dollars you can get a WUSB T shirt. For fifty you can get a T shirt, a USB coffee mug, and uh, a pair of tickets to see almost any concert you want coming up in the local area. And we have all kinds of other things, too. And I'm not kidding. All kinds of other things. Call up now and find out what some of those things are, because uh, you'll be amazed at what you can get for, uh, for a pledge of 25, 35, 50. They're talking to each other. We don't want them to talk to each other, because that's where misunderstandings happen. And not only that, that's the basis of anarchy. It sure is. We want them to talk to you. Okay, so give a call. We'll be taking your calls on the air later. But please give a call. If you ever listen to Brain Damage, and if you've ever been a part of the show, or if you've ever been a part of the station in any way, winning tickets or just listening and enjoying the music like, like uh, Jim has been bringing us for the last uh, couple of hours, uh, give a call now and show some of that support. 632-6901. It's not that hard. It really isn't that hard. For those of us that have already done it, it's, uh, you know, you feel great after doing it. You really do, because you know you're becoming a part of, of what this place is all about. And uh, it's really, you know, important, I think, in our lifetimes to, uh, to say something about Speaking what... Speaking about that. lifetimes... Yeah. Oh, you want to get on with the news? Uh, no, I was going to ask you, you had Maybe mentioned... You're telling me to shut up or something. For, for the grant of immortality that you're giving. Oh, right. No, you're giving the grants of immortality. Oh. How, much are, how much is the premium on that? What, the premium on immortality? Yeah. Oh, gee, for I don't know. Is that a $50 pledge? You'll get a grant of immortality. 
Oh, wait a minute, that's a typo. It's immorality. I'm sorry. Well, uh, okay, that's that'd probably go for a bit higher then. Many points. Well, our volunteer coordinators are very specially trained to deal with with people like like you, the one who's listening. And uh, if you call now, in all seriousness, we need your call. If uh, if you call now, you will be moving us all the closer to our goal. And uh, and we can read the news without any further ado. And the more pledges we get before midnight, the happier we will be at midnight. So help us, help make us very happy at midnight. It's not that hard. It really isn't. We take Visa, we take MasterCard, and we take pledges of any size. 632-6901. Help keep non-commercial radio at WUSB going. Because we want to keep going, and uh, if you're listening right now, you probably want to continue hearing us, right? So we're in agreement on that. Now, all we have to worry about is how we're going to do it. And the only way we can do it is with the funds. And we'll let you know every step of the way what is going on. We don't just take your money and uh, forget about it. Uh -uh, we don't work that way. Maybe uh, maybe other entities work that way, but uh, we, 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 we just don't do it that way. We don't like, uh, like to uh, take the money and run, so to say. We're, we're using all of this for our transmitter project to move it to uh, a higher location get the signal out to you better. And I know, because a lot of people complain to me, a lot of people who listen to this program, well, they complain about the content of the program, but apart from that, they complain about the quality of the signal. Uh, I'm always drifting in and out, and I drift in and out of subjects, but my voice isn't supposed to fade away. So if you hear me now, and you hear static, and you hear another station coming over me, that's the kind of thing we want to fix, and we can fix it. It's very, very, very possible, likely. We know what to do. We know exactly what to do. And we know what we need. We're not just talking uh, philosophically here in, in vague terms. We know exactly what it is we need. Uh, the thing is, there are several ways to get that kind of um, that kind of resource. One is to sell commercials. Where we're not allowed to sell commercials, and it goes against every fiber of our beings to uh, to sell commercials, even if we were allowed to. Uh, we could uh, get corporate grants, but again, that's something that uh, that goes against our very uh, being because uh, we wouldn't be able to do programs like this, programs like Pacifica, all kinds of programs that we do. We wouldn't be able to play music we play with lyrics that might offend some, uh, uh, you know, some person somewhere in some remote part of the country. We wouldn't be able to do that. We wouldn't be able to broadcast Pacifica news because they, they promote dangerous ideas and that kind of thing. So uh, the only other alternative, folks, is you, because an hour and 45 minutes left. And then uh, this radio on this history. So 632-6901, area code 516. If you have any friends, rich relatives, <laughs> anybody that, that uh, you think can help us out at this point, we need to hear from you. 632-6901, area code 516. And now let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go to the news, eh? Uh, okay, so do I start the news? Okay. Uh, police, you gave me a real cheery story to start with, didn't you? Police in San Diego say one person is dead after a gunman shot four people on a rampage to a hospital emergency room. Same elsewhere, isn't it? Authorities say they're not sure if the gunman is still inside Mission Bay Hospital. This is America, folks. This is what it's all about. This is lunacy. This is brain damage. Yes, Your but turn. in Lithuania, it is Sunday, and Sunday is the day that Moscow has given as a deadline for the breakaway Baltic Republic to renounce its independence. Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev says that if it doesn't uh, happen, he will order the rest of the Soviet Union to impose an economic blockade on Lithuania. Officials in Lithuania say they won't even get around to discussing the Soviet ultimatum until after the Easter holiday ends. Are you okay over there? Which for them will be Tuesday. That's interesting. They get an extra day. Uh, Lithuanian President... Uh, oh boy. Uh, uh, I can read it. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, by Tatas. By Tatas Landsbridges. <laughs> Damn him anyway. I hate it when people do this. Just when you get used to all the people with stupid, funny names, yeah, come up like with Eric new ones. Corley. I mean, come on already. Look at this. B Y T A U T A S. I'm supposed to pronounce that? Come on, folks, I can only remember so many names in my lifetime. Hmm. I, look, the Lithuanian president, okay? Okay, that's his, well, whoever he is, the Lithuanian president. He says it's unclear whether the Soviets plan a full or partial blockade. Damn, I mean, 
I just can't sure. deal with any more names. <laughs> all these Eastern European countries are emerging now, right? And we're supposed to learn all the names? Yeah. You know? Easter has Czechoslovakia. Been... Can you pronounce the president of Czechoslovakia? Can you pronounce the president of Poland? Huh? That's that's like he's got a name that's like fifteen syllables long. Which 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 who is that? I think it begins with an M. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. I mean, is, is, if you ask me what his name is, I said I can't pronounce now, which it. One, which one's Czechoslovakia? Is that the uh, Václav Havel? Yeah. Uh, okay, he's easy. He's easy to pronounce. Okay, he's easy. You proved me a fool there, but Poland. You try Poland, man. You try Poland. That's all I have to say. <clears throat> I stop delaying with the news and get on with it. Yeah. Easter has been ushered in at the Vatican with Pope John Paul presiding over thousands of faithful participating in a candlelight vigil service. John Paul, why can't people be named John? That's so easy. In St. Peter's Basilica. The pontiff has little time to rest before the Easter morning open-air mass in St. Peter's Square and his annual message to Rome and the world from the balcony overlooking the square. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did somebody say that you only need $42 for a goal? For one of our goals, for our hourly goal, I believe. No, for the total goal. Look at this over here. Forty. What did they do? Forty-two dollars. No, 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 no. Forty-two dollars. Forty-two dollars. A hundred and forty-two dollars. Well, someone gave me this note. Someone well, gave you this note it's and said wrong. forty-two dollars. But look at that. Twenty-four eight five eight. Don't believe what you see. Believe I'm what you hear. I believe what the computer says. We need hundred forty-two dollars, folks. Don't let us. Forty-two dollars. Six three two six nine zero one. We got an hour and twenty. Uh, hour and forty minutes left. So forty-two dollars. Thank you. All right. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. What are you doing? Will you stop that? Stop making that noise? Mm. Invite these people on my show and I get abused. The leaders, will you stop making that noise? Turn that microphone off. Now, the leaders of last December's coup attempt. <laughs> Look what you made me do. I always pronounce that word right. The leaders of last December's coup attempt in the Philippines are issuing a threat against the U.S. They say if Washington intervenes in Philippine affairs, Americans will become embroiled in <clears throat> a fight they will never forget. The statement from the Revolutionary Alliance for the Masses, Soldiers of the Filipino People, comes amid rumors in Manila of a new plot to oust President Corazon Aquino. It sounds like a good promotion, though. You know, it's like they're trying to promote this a fight they will never forget. It sounds like something the Americans would go for, right? Yes. Well, oh, go ahead. Greyhound says federal agents are investigating two more bus shootings. The incident, in which no one was injured, took place at a Dallas area freeway interchange and on the route between Birmingham, Alabama to Nashville, Tennessee. Greyhound is condemning the latest violence. Since bus drivers went on, on strike March 2nd, there have been 32 shooting attacks. Greyhound says it won't negotiate with the drivers and other striking employees until a week goes by without violence. The employees' union is denying it has anything to do with the incident. I see. Okay, well, that's, that's really interesting. People in Alaska are In December, wondering. a bus company... Oh, why did you tell me you weren't finished? I mean... In December, a what bus... What are you reading? That's not even a news copy. You're reading a, a, an article. In December, a bus company under its contract to the Edison Comprehensive Gifted School in Chicago disciplined a driver after she had become frustrated at getting lost one afternoon, taking kids home and returned the kids to the school, which by that time was closed and locked for the day. When asked by an 8th grader what she was doing, the driver replied, You're gifted. You figure out how to get home. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. <clears throat> okay, people in Alaska are wondering what's killing otters at Prince William Sound. Some are blaming the effects of last year's record oil spill. Bunch of troublemakers, aren't they? Beach cleaning teams in the past five weeks have discovered 40 otter carcasses. Exxon, owner of the tanker responsible for the March 1989 spill, says it presumes the animals died natural causes. What are we going to say to, about Exxon, folks? Come on, let's think of a good word we can say on the radio about Exxon, huh? What can we say about Exxon? I want to say something about Exxon. I really do. I really do. Recent, uh, okay, here, this is even better. Recent customers of the McDonald's restaurant Boynton Beach, Florida, are being urged to get hepatitis shots. The uh, state health department says an estimated 1,200 people who ate there between March 31st and April 7th should get gamma globulin injections. The alert is being issued because one of the restaurant's teenage cooks has been diagnosed with hepatitis A. Yay! <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's the news. It's a pretty disgusting newscast, actually. Uh, this world is pretty screwed up, don't you think, Mike? 
Yeah. As uh, the world is troubled. But but on, the bright side, side. on the bright side, though, we have been getting a lot of calls here at Tide 616 in order to further our quest to relocate our transmitter to a higher location. And we know brain damaged folks won't, I'm sorry, brain damaged listeners won't uh, let us down here because we brought you a lot of interesting things over the past couple of years and uh, we want to keep bringing you a couple of interesting things. Well, a lot of interesting things, actually. Now, we've got, uh, we've got all kinds of uh, packages for you. We've got a pair of tickets to any play showing at Theater 3. We've got free admissions to the museums at Stony Brook. We've got uh, uh, <laughs> all kinds of other things, T-shirts and, uh, and coffee mugs and tickets to New Community Cinema. And, wow, it's just amazing all the things we have. But you got to call 632-6901 because time is running out. Hi. I kind of had to walk out of there. It's getting a little bit too intense. Do you agree? <laughs> Hope at this stage can keep us up there and move us to a higher location where we won't have to worry about any of that garbage. And we can just continue bringing you interesting programs programs that you play a part in, all right? That's, that's it. That's the bottom line, and there aren't many stations around that uh, that play it dangerously, I guess, like we do. It's, it's a shame when free speech is considered something dangerous, but in the 1990s, I think that's what we're going to be looking at, and <laughs> I've got some, uh, some interesting things to look at after this, uh, this particular song, some, some instances where that is certainly proven true. Remember the number, 632. Six nine zero one. All right. Six three two six nine zero one. Eric said. Uh, Definitely. He thinks we can keep it up until twelve. It's supposed to be radio thunder. What? Oh, I'm the other one. But you know, it's what? I'll just I'll just hide behind doors. Okay. I think this guy wants to leave. <laughs> Norman? He's Norman. I know. I know. I don't blame him. I didn't say I blame him. I just said he's Yeah, we, but we noticed um, Gary was being in, um, an American actor. He wasn't, went to that dancing, but if you knew, when you watched their feet, they were all doing sevens and threes, and he was just sliding, you know, they were doing rounds, but I don't with the changes. And he was just sliding to where he was supposed to be and sliding back. He wasn't doing any of the stepping, but he, he's a good enough dancer that from here up, you didn't know that. It was only, we always look at feet. You know, he says, look at that. He's just, uh, well, he was actually an English actor. He's an English actor. Oh, God, that's worse than you. an American actor. Uh, playing an, an English no play like an Irish. <laughs> Jim, I'm going to get no, you No, the flashing started. red light means it's not on. Is that what it means? Yeah. No, that means... I think he's lying, lying that to you. That means that he's just such a liar. If you... Well, he doesn't know she's that lady. <laughs> it would be hard to wear in any event. Oh, you don't. It's always a while before people know and then they, like, look down and they, like, do what oh, yeah. they well, he says he gets both of his calls after 11, and he thinks that right, he could well, really pull in more money, you know. They're first, well, okay, once fine. you notice them. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to be in my class after I wouldn't be on my knees after that time of show. No, they work really well. They're, they're supposed to be, hello, kids. Uh, they range that all. You know, first package of now, is somebody playing music? Because I made a request and I was told that he doesn't mm -hmm. play music. Mm -hmm. Because Eric, mm -hmm. I made the request to, um, uh, uh, it's 50, I'll get to a dollar. That's something that's good, Frank. Correct. Yeah. 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 Who's, uh, oh. Jerry? Hold on. Oh, can you stop with the video camera already? Come on. 
Oh, here, Walter, hold this. No, 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 no. Peanut butter? Peanut butter? Peanut butter? Oh, he loves peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Conference. Yeah. There we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Is this putting this over? Wait a minute. Uh, uh, okay. I gotta get this focus in here. Yeah, you got a couple minutes. You got a few. Five, one, six, nine. Mention on the air, yes or no? What's the story with this one? Macro. You need a macro. I'm on my. Yeah, why not? It's better for doing it over there. <laughs> it's a bit close. <laughs> there we go. That's a four. They're all in suspense here. There's a premium. premium. Yes. Two of them It's the moment of suspense. Value. What's the value of that thing? Oh, my legs have about three seconds. That's the classical music. Off. What's the value? <laughs> not, no, we're gonna have to trace it down. Make we'll, right we'll, uh, we'll uh, get out the information. Put it on the floor. Here it comes. And this music in the background is great. I want you. Yeah. Get it. Here it comes. Here, Here it comes go. another one. Is everything okay? Is yeah, it? yeah. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Go. Oh. A done deed. All right, everybody. Okay, turn the transmitter off. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. It's a win. We got off the gold. It's thirty-one thousand now. We've got a couple hours. That's a bad today. idea. Why don't we just do this tomorrow? I completely, totally forgot, and I am a stupid idiot. I am sorry. I, re I realized this. I realized this too late today. I realized this while I was elsewhere. Just the damn goal. Sorry, man. <laughs> Wally, hello, Wally. Hello, boy. Boo! Walter, get out of here! How did, uh, Try to screw the microphone on, so it doesn't fall out. How does Rod talk to Boo on the air? Well, did he bring Boo into his... Why are you tightening the... He doesn't talk to him anymore. He doesn't bring him in anymore. I'm not ripping the contact though. Yeah. You will if you tighten it any tighter. I'm trying to untighten it. Oh, oh, I'm glad actually. I didn't hear about that on the air because he, he just talked about, like a year ago about a pet bereavement center and, and he was reading the PSA and he started to get kind of smart aleck and he said, wait a minute, you know, I, I maybe should start doing this now, this really isn't funny. And he just started talking about food and how much he meant. I just went, my dog had just died. I just went right off the road. You had a dog? Yeah, same. Walter! Steve, you see him? Where is Walter? Somebody. On air, debut. Walter! Walter! Would somebody get Walter? Sit. 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 Stupid dog, sit. I hate dogs. Sit. 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 Walter. Sit. Sit. Walter. Sit. 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 Walter. Sit. 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 Go to your bed. Slather on Jerry's shoes. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, what the hell is going on over there? Walter. 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 Sit. All right, folks. We just heard, we just heard the doors with the end. We played the end because we're at the end of our radio phone. We're winding it down. And we need your help. We need you to help us wind it down 
in a big way, okay? 632-6901, that's the number to call to make a pledge. Keep ready like this on the area code 516. And in the next course of the next uh, hour and a half, or however much time we have left, uh, people are going to be calling in here who have played a part in the last 10 days of this radio station. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of work, you know, to, to keep things going for 10 days, you know, having people at the phones, volunteers coming in, answering phones, and keeping the programming going, and communicating with the listeners, keeping track of how much has come in, and, you know, whether or not we're meeting our goals, and all that kind of thing, it's exciting, it's fun, you get to meet a lot of people, you have a lot of fun, and uh, right now the station is packed with, uh, with a, lot of, uh, a lot of cool people, and uh, we'd, like to, we'd like you to be a part of that by joining us in these last few minutes, 632-6901. Area code 516, make a pledge for however much you can afford, and uh, we'll be most indebted to you. We're, we're very, very, very close to our, our goal. Extremely close. Hey, listen. Good night, everybody. Norm Presley. Good night, Step Norm. to the microphone here. You've been here every day these last 10 days. Well, it's been some 10 days, and uh, all I can really say is uh, the people in this room and everyone who's been part of the... Uh, the radio station staff for the past 10 days has just done an absolutely phenomenal job. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to believe the dedication. Uh, it, it's harder to believe that the people who dedicated 8, 10, 12, 14 hours a day, let alone writing their own checks to the radio station, but it's, uh, it's, it's uh, a terrific, uh, uh, well, I guess it's a terrific group of people. What else can you say? It is a terrific group of people. It makes this uh, radio station uh, work and happen. And uh, our staff people, 99% of the time, are listeners to this radio station. And uh, that puts everyone in the same boat, I guess. So congratulations yeah. to everybody. Yeah. Sure does. And thank you, Norm, for being around. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Our general manager has been here for the last 10 days. Great. Wow. And uh, all kinds of crazy things are going on here. We'd like to hear from you. We really would. Uh, you know, we, we've been we've been talking, pitching now for for ten days, uh, and we're we're kind of tired, I guess. But uh, you know, we've had we've had a lot of a lot of good response, a lot of positive feedback. We've been able to talk to our listeners about what they like about the station, what they don't like, and uh, it's been a real good experience for for so many of us and so many of you too. And we want to thank those of you that have been a part of, of this magical experience. And we want to invite those of you that haven't yet become a part of the magical experience to please do it now because there really isn't much time left. 632-6901, area code 516. That's our telephone number. Give us a call. Now, who do we have in the studio? Is Walter still here? No, Walter just Walter. left. Walter? I have a question well, Walter, for you. Walter is a dog. I know. In case I... anybody couldn't figure that out, he's, he came in here. He's got a very busy schedule, but he found time to stop in, and perhaps they'll come in a little bit later on and say a few words for us. But Mike, what do you guys? I have a question of you. A question of me? A, a question of you. When you give the phone number, you always give the area code last. Yeah, I do, don't I? I wonder why that is. That's last in the dialing sequence. No, it's first in the dialing sequence. That's right. Right. It's first in the dialing sequence. But, but I you, say it last. Right, yet you well, give it last. You know, I say a sort of a parenthetical note, because uh, I give the phone number, and then, you know, as sort of an aside, I say 516 area code, in case. In case, just in case, you don't uh, live in the area, you know? Because if I was listening to a station outside the area, I would say, uh, oh, that's the phone number, 632-6901. Gosh, I wonder where that is. Area code 516. Oh, area code 516. Well, I'm in 516, so I don't have to dial 516. If I'm outside of 516, then I have to dial 516. Or 1516, or whatever. Uh, the dog is here? Oh, the dog is here. And so is the dog biscuit. Yum. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uncle Mikey's minus the fingernail, mm -hmm. but... Um, but Mike, you really Mike. shouldn't do that with a dog. You should <laughs> no. not... Thanks a lot! Not, not well, a dog besides the You, you really it. shouldn't hold a bone quite like that and expect a dog not to... Uh, jump on your face. Not to jump for your juggler. <laughs> <laughs> you have jugglers? <laughs> How can we have jugglers? This is radio. <laughs> <laughs> Walter! Yo, Walter! Come here, come here, come here, Walter. Come here, say hi to that folks. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, boy. My face is all wet now. Bring him back in here. Where's that dog been? Bob Longman just stole your dog. It smells like... Oh, never mind. It smells like dog, doesn't it? Dog breath radio. Folks, <laughs> how many other radio stations have dogs in the studio, huh? 
Not enough. Not, not, not enough. enough. You're right about that. Six three two six nine zero one. I don't know. Uh, well, you you witnessed the, the whole watermelon incident yesterday. Oh my God! It was a watermelon I... plunging to its death, 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 death from our from our window here at the uh, yeah. facilities of WUSB. That was that was the low note, I suppose. The sad yeah. note. It was a very moving week. moment for me. I know. What else do you think was uh, was a highlight? Just talking to, to the listeners and uh, the kind of dedication that you got. I talked to someone this morning who said he set um, his radio station to WUSB and he didn't preset any other station because he said if he was out of range of USB, why would he listen to anything else? Right. He'd rather have silence than not listen to WUSB. Well, that's that's real nice. There are you know there are a couple of cool stations, but there just aren't very many. There oh, really sure. aren't. Most of them are becoming. Uh, you know, these predictable, one thing only. We only play classical music. We only play jazz. You know, we only do this, we only do that, and we don't do, and then that's the big list of all the things they don't do. And the things that we do do here at the radio station are incredible, incredible number of things. And, uh, of course, not, the, not uh, all of them you'll like. I mean, you might not really get turned on listening to a dog on the radio. But... Think again, you know, in another 20 minutes, you might hear something you really like, or something at least that'll make you think. And, and what more can you ask for? Radio that makes you think, you know? Or radio that makes you laugh. Yeah, anything like that. You know, all kinds of uh, possibilities. All kinds of possibilities. So keep all that in mind. I want to see one more call come into 632-6901, then we'll go to the, uh, to the phone calls, listener phone calls. 632-6901, area code 516, make a pledge. Whether it's ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty-five, fifty, ninety point one, any amount you choose. And uh, we'll give you something back right away for that. You know, a, a CD, an album, a cassette, theater tickets, uh, movie tickets, jackets, um, uh, coffee mugs, you name it. We've got all kinds of things. I mean, we put Channel 13 to shame, don't we, guys? I think so. I mean, we've got better premiums than they have. All right. Much better. Get that dog away from the microphone. How about Night of a Hundred Stars? We've got Night of... How much is that going for? What is... Come over here, Jim. Jim yeah. Wiener here. Jim Wiener has been here every day. Every day Hi. the past, past week. And I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. Hi. But I wish he would. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only for the benefit of the camera, Mike. Hi. Now, Jim, step up to the microphone there. Push Mike out of the way of the microphone. No, no. I don't want to push Hi. Mike away from the mic. Well, he's a microphone hog. Well, his name's Mike. He's saying hi into the microphone. Now, Jim. Yes. <laughs> Explain, Jim is one of our premium coordinators. Maybe I can talk into this mic, and he can talk into the mic for me. <laughs> He's one of the people that have, uh, that have figured out how all the premiums work. Now, explain to us what Night of a Hundred Stories is. Fine, I'll explain it to Mike, and he can explain it to you. Hi. Hi, Hi. you see? Hi, I'm Jim Weir. Oh. They were getting kind of punchy here the last couple of minutes. Of Night of a Hundred Stars is a uh, evening in the theater uh, with entertainment from all different kinds of people in show business and uh, at least a hundred stars show up and perform it's, it's on Broadway or in the vicinity of Broadway Manhattan it might be at Radio City I'm not even sure of the exact venue uh -huh. but it, thank you it is Radio City but it's Radio definitely I knew it's definitely in in a, uh, a large Manhattan venue you know I saw, I saw the Christmas show at Radio City last year did you? Did you like it? It was corny as all hell. Oh, yeah? Oh, God. Why, well, you didn't think there was enough thrash music or something? There was no the thrash music, no, no rap, hip-hop, any of that oh, kind of stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, you know, all oh, Nutcracker Suite, not, not even the whole Nutcracker Suite. Oh. Oh. Big bloody like a deal, half a Nutcracker you know? Suite or something. I don't know, but uh, it was fun, you know, but come on already. It's like, it's like, it's like a, a different world. You might as well like go to Siam or something. It's just a completely different world. Siam. Yeah. You mean, you mean Thailand or Siam? You mean Thailand in the old days? Well, yeah. That's how Thailand much of a different world it is. It's back in the days when Thailand used to be Siam. Right, and the country has changed ownership since. Right. One way of putting it, I suppose. Six three two six nine zero one. Give us a call now. Tell us about, about the Night of Hundred Stars tickets. Now, how much are these things okay. worth, and what are we offering okay, them for? Okay, we have two tickets to this gala event, and I, you know, it might sound like I'm hyping it by saying gala event, but I know someone who went to the first one, and uh, this person was very impressed, and there was no reason why she would hype it up to me, uh, and uh, so if that's any indication, it's going to be a very, very enjoyable evening. Now, in fact, this is put on uh, as a benefit for various purposes. Uh, I believe the first one was for uh, actor's retirement, uh, but I think the current one to take place later this year will be for AIDS treatment uh, for actors. Uh, and um, normally, 
to buy a ticket for this event, where, by the way, uh, one would think there would be a lot of uh, celebrities in the audience as well if someone wants to, uh, hobnob. Wants to hobnob right. Thank you. Um, rub elbows? Rub elbows, as a matter of fact. Um, jostle. Jostle a bit. Right, right. If you're interested, now normally if you went and bought these tickets, and I suppose now I'm sounding once again like a vegetable uh, uh, device hawker here, but if you bought these tickets, uh, at regular price, you walk up to the box and says, hi, I want to buy two tickets tonight of 100 stars, you would be charged... Five hundred dollars for a pair of tickets. Let me make sure I have this right. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. It's, it's no. so late. Yeah. You would be charged. Yes, for a pair of tickets, you would be charged. Thank you. Five hundred dollars. Right. So just you, read, read the cue cards. Oh, How much is that per star, you, Jim? Per star? Five dollars oh a star. Five dollars. Yes, five dollars a star. star. Yeah. Now, at WUSB right now, uh -huh. if someone calls. 632-6901 and pledges $250, they will get both tickets tonight of 100 stars. They will get the, these tickets at half price. It's like going up to the TKTS uh, uh, window in Duffy Square, Manhattan, right. and saying, I'd like to get half price on night of 100 stars. Now, they're not, I'm sure they're not selling those tickets uh, ever at half price, and if they did, there'd be a service charge above the $250 anyway. So you're getting half price on this, on this event that is one of the events of the entertainment season in, in New York City, and I would say even in the, certainly in the country, in the world, gets a lot of attention. Uh, and uh, these two tickets are yours um, for $250. You're getting them for half price. You'd normally pay $500. And um, you might, I'm not sure if it's black tie or not, so you might have to rent a tuxedo, but I mean... Uh, uh, you know, I want to be completely it's like, candid you know, with It's people. like Halloween, wear a costume. But, exactly. Yeah. Do you have yes. any idea uh, which stars are involved in this? In this uh, Frankly, evening? I can't uh, offhand. Uh, no, that's no, quite all right. Frankly, I don't offhand uh, have any coming to mind. But when when they put this thing together, they go for some big luminaries, and uh, they don't uh, they go for the A team, as it were. Uh -huh. uh, they know that that's how this kind of well, thing Mr. works. Mr. T will be there. Mr. King will be there, George Papard, everybody oh, will be wow. there. Um, the but Abe Pagoda. Abe Pagoda will be there. Well, now, um, I was thinking... I don't know if the people will be there, actually. I folks, have to be careful what I say. A lot of, you know, a lot of people would probably say, hey, well, why would I be interested in going to see this big uh, gala event uh, with 100 stars? You know, I'm just, uh, you know, a, a, an average person. But, uh, folks, think of it. It's, um, you know, it's, it's a, I guess kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing, but uh, it also would make a terrific gift for someone like, you know, your, your parents on, say, their, their wedding anniversary or their, you know, one of their birthdays or something like that uh, to, to send them to a, a show like that and get the house to yourself for a night. Uh, think of it. We take Visa, we take MasterCard. It would be a terrific uh, way to say thanks to WUSB for being here and a way of ensuring that we be around for a while, for quite a while, with a better signal. Uh, so give it consideration. Don't uh, just dismiss it out of hand. We do have one of those pairs of tickets, and we want to thank yeah. you. Yeah. We also uh, have the tickets to the Golden Dragon Acrobats and Musicians yeah. in China. Yeah. Reggae on the Wharf in Stag Harbor. Not now. What else? We try and economize as much as possible. We want people to understand when they're budgeting money to us. It's not going to go to something that just gives us a cushy atmosphere. But you know, please. Like heavily into the camera scene. Stay on the air. I wish I had like a gift certificate for a fruit stand where you can buy your own watermelon. For budget 90.1, we would revive the watermelon. Almost in a way appropriate for this Easter weekend. What is? Resurrecting the watermelon. Um, what's your name? Brian B R I A N. I have a cousin named Brain. <laughs> what's your last name, bro? B or B one more left side. L E N. Okay. And your mail address? Two two nine. Okay, fine. There are a lot of dedicated people.
the word about these organizations, about these nonprofit uh, groups, and uh, that's what we're here for, folks. We're here for you. We're here for the community, and that's why we want to stay a part of the community. We want, don't want to be uh, uh, cordoned off into a, a smaller listening area. That's, that's really what we're looking at here. We're looking at other stations saying, well, we've got the money, we've got the demographics and the, the Arbitron ratings, so we're going to move in here. These guys don't mean nothing, you know? They're just a bunch of... Uh, well, what would they call us? I don't know. We're a bunch of... Nothing. Yeah. No, nothing. Yeah, that's a, that's a good word. We're not a bunch of nothings, folks, because we're, we're, part of, we're part of you. We're part of the community. We're part of Long Island, and we want to serve Long Island. We want to continue what we're doing. We want to expand upon that, but we need you to do that. I mean, we really do. I'll get a WSB news. Pay me a WSB news. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you when, go. You do, when you do when you do put those stuff together, you're, you're gonna be you're gonna be premium number 9081. I'll play the video. But record number. Six, six, six. Oh, numerically? I don't care. I know. I, zero, zero, zero is fine with me because, for one thing, zero, zero, zero is anything that's worth over a hundred. Although I'm not kidding. Really? What's the What's the value of this? Well, might have a million stars. What's that? That's, million stars. That's like what? That's a two hundred and fifty dollar ticket. Yeah. Are you in macro? Not yet. Nice shot. Macro me, man. Ma oh, you macro you mean? You macro you yourself. Oh. Yeah, now nah, I'm in macro. Should I wiggle it for you? <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. Can I mind macro? Now nah, I'm in macro. Right. Does anybody know what Mike oh, Lake has? What kind of food? Oh, oh, man. There were a lot of our listeners in there the other night because three of them touched from the mic. Yeah. Have you been there? No, but I'm trying to... Oh, that's in Quorum, right? Well, one of them was working there and one of them was there. <gasps> it's in Quorum, to... right? Yeah. And Mike called to... It's been remodeled in the last no. two years and it's a whole... Yes? Um, well, I'm having been... great. Right, right. Who got this package? Uh, <laughs> Is this Susan the Wuzadek? The Wuzadek. And he gave your time. More importantly, however, yeah, record number. The record number is all important here. Oh, shh. You guys are locked down at a judge. Susan 666. Where does it say your name? Does it say your name on here anywhere? No, it doesn't. No. Rat. Yeah, I wonder if Eric oh, well. Maybe I'll have the may I do it with the uh, Sterling oh, Silver yeah. Ravens Club. I think there may be one left. No. I don't think I want Nobody that. Nobody wants that. It's probably really big. Oh, no, bluegrass on the way. Silver Ravens Club is clutching on Oh, oh hi there. Up, up to the we have some great deals. Yeah. Great deals on premiums. Come on down. Come on down and on down. Pick, pick from the box. Jay, what's in the box? Look at the box. I think Susan had a We have all this merchandise left. So much a question. We should just say, if you want the box, what a deal. thousand, you get the box. Twenty thousand for the box. Twenty thousand for the box without the stuff in it. No, we'll take ten thousand. That'll that'll put us way over the original. Uh, four free admissions to the museums in Stony Brook for twenty-five dollars. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm in Vegas. Yeah. Scott Crusoe, look at that. Kasu. Kasu. Video, Star Trek IV. Who framed Jessica? Who what? We still have one year subscriptions to Jazz's magazine. For only $35. She better, she better. She better. Pictionary. She's also one who's sort of in front of you. Oh, what a I'm going to make a race for the 
Not for 15, please. Hey, all right. Uh, it is. Yes. That's a real one. It's a real one. Oh, okay. it might be ready as I'm. Would you like to make it? It's a real. It's live. Okay. 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 They stun environmentalists by accepting an entirety their demand that Star Kids no longer buy from the parking ways of the game dolphins. Similar announcements follow the Star Kids two. I don't I don't think you can I don't think you can equate dolphins with tuna. I just don't think that. Well, I'm not necessarily equating dolphins with tuna, but um, what I'm saying is that uh, it, it seems somewhat uh, hypocritical to to champion the right of tuna to swim freely and not get caught in nets, and then to turn around and say, and not say anything about, uh, excuse me, to champion the rights of dolphins to right. swim freely in the sea, and then to turn around and not have anything to say about the rights of tuna to swim freely. Okay. And I mean, they're not, they're not um, uh, husbanded animals uh, that you that you raise to slaughter. They're out there swimming the around. The point is well taken, but uh, I just don't know where you're going to draw the line after that. You know, I'd like to say, for th for in Creatures that definitely are intelligent creatures, you know, that's something you shouldn't allow that to happen. You shouldn't allow slaughter to go on, especially when, you know, you're just killing the dolphins needlessly. You're throwing them away. You're not, that's not the point of the hunt. Now, what you're saying is, yeah, let's question the hunt itself. Okay, that's another point. But this point here was questioning the needless slaughter of dolphins. Okay, what do we got here? We've got a caller. We've got Brett from uh, Stony Brook. Thank you very much for your pledge. And Jason from Ronkonkoma. And Jason from Lake Ronkonkoma. Hey, you folks are coming in. I knew you would. I knew you'd come through for us. I'm going to call it a major car race. Well, we've got it on video, and it looks pretty major to us. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah. this is, what, what's the official name of, of the race? It was out east. Out east, folks, in a place that we want to get our signal. Right. It's, uh, the event is conducted by the Eastern Motor Racing Association, and uh, they, help, they hold events at Bridgehampton. That's simply one of the venue tracks. Uh, Pocono in Pennsylvania, Summit Point in Virginia, West Virginia. Um, Watkins Glen in upstate New York. Mm -hmm. Briar in New Hampshire. And Lime Rock in northwestern Connecticut. Well, just hold that trophy up to the microphone there. So you can all <laughs> sure. Do it. Uh, there you Ooh, go. Uh, all right. I actually did it. Red laminated letters there. And Proof that we've got we've got some of the best people here at this radio station, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I actually offered a listener yeah. to go with them in the car. I can't believe two, nobody took him up right. on that. Two listeners. Hey, folks, you blew it. You Monday, May seven. In a in a in a. Is that still open? Still open. Still open. Okay, what's the premium value on that? What, what are Fifty. Fifty dollars, and you can you can go with a with an award-winning race car driver. Well, Gordon, let me shake your hand. <laughs> Shaking. All right. Be the first of many. Thirty-five dollars. Uh, if you want to place thirty-five dollars, and you want to make sure your mailbox is filled at least uh, three times a month, um, I will give you a one-year subscription for. Oh, you probably going to need more than that. Oh no. 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 Oh
true. Yeah. I, I would call him back then, but it might wait too near his home. So. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. This is for me? Yes. Thank you. That goes with the catalog, uh, with the subscription. Would you autograph the classic time to give You know, I actually was requested to do that once. I, I know, actually, it would be nice. I wanted to put it in an indie corner. I want to. That'd be very nice, actually. Yeah. want to turn over more. Great shots. You know, he's about to finish off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the March page, would you? Picture of the March page, because that's the best one. In the oh, God, I'm such a new one. Hang on, Claudia. Oh, God. Wow. Whoa, what a shot. Hmm. Nice. Great car. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. That was my favorite part of the picture. Excellent. Right, that part, right there. It's very small, what is that but thing? significant detail of the photograph. Mike Yaha? Yeah. Okay. Yahoo. 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 Mike Yahoo. Yeah, all the oh, Mike Yahoo. Mike Yahoo. I'm sorry. Yes? Are you, are you getting me? Mm hmm I'm going to go in the air now and offer the Grateful Dead family. <laughs> <laughs> or imagine, or and imagine. They're funny. Happy dog. So let's uh, let's do it. Uh, where's the? Uh, uh, yeah, he's a little bit of a. Uh, <laughs> she pinched me. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> We will come back at you with even more strength. And what's more, you're going to get your your value in the premium. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. get a value in return in the short term. Mark down. Yeah. I think this is the radio station. Mark down. The drive is going to be in Oh my god, Leanna. That's a $7.50 computer card. Right. Now mine is a $7.50 computer card. You can see right through his hat. I thought you were going to say you can see right through his hat. Who just kicked me in the butt? Mm. <laughs> You're going to get it. Ross Wally. Ross Wally. He's brown. <gasps> battery! Battery. Now, having replaced the battery, I'm back again in here with James McDexter. Here I am, on the other side of the glass through which you are looking at me now. What is it? What are you doing? This is a fine mustache. Ah, we are a mustache investigating team number one. What the hell is he doing? Whoa. Hand back to Gornili. A mustache of a different trim. That's a Merrill Lynch bull. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it says bullish on Zebra. Mm, how about that? How about that? Goodbye. Have a have a safe trip home. See you soon. Good luck on the track and congratulations on your your wonderful performance today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I could have also had uh, Todd Lapson in the Sports 2000. That would have been Next time. I would probably have that one today. Yeah. wrong that's uh you know that's another thing you got to speak up about and uh if you're if, if you feel you're right about something you know you, you gotta you gotta go up against the authority so by all means
Well, this is what you do. You go to Webster's Dictionary say, hey, what's the definition of parking? I am not parked, therefore this ticket is invalid. I'm not, what is the definition? I think standing, is that when the car is still running? I don't know. No, stopping, I think, is when the car is still running. Standing, I believe, is when you're in the car. Uh, and parking is when you're not in the car. Yeah, that... that Well, just remember this. Treat them with respect. I mean, that is important. Right. Well, that's that's you know that's totally uncalled for. But uh, you got to don't give authority figures any any reason to uh, you know to abuse you. If they abuse you, make sure it's done at their own behest, and uh, keep track of everything they do. That's the most important thing, and make sure lots of people know about it. All right. I, Keep us. No, I mean, I'm glad you got to see the the stars and everything like that. That's what people do. Uh, but I also, you know, I don't want to see people rampaging around and, and creating a nuisance. Those, you know, those people shouldn't be doing that. But uh, again, it's you know, it's it's uh, the old thing of a couple of people abuse something, so everybody has to uh, has to suffer. I don't agree with that. All right, but uh, you keep us updated as to the progress. All right, thanks for calling. Again, we have uh, special numbers tonight, 632-6499, to call in 632-6500. Once again, 632-6499, 632-6500, both area code 516, and uh, our pledge line is 632-6901, area code 516. We only have 11 minutes left, uh, Nick Dexter. That's me. Well, how, how, how are you then, Les? I'm, I'm right sleepy. Why is it that when you're in the room, everybody feels like talking with the Scottish accent? I don't know what it is, but it's... Oh, hi. That... <laughs> what was that noise? That was Mike McEwhouse. Was it then? It indeed it was. Well, why am I getting reverb? Reverb? I am getting reverb, I don't know, oh, because I'm patched. Oh, I see. Oh, sorry about that. I, I, oh. I was patched in there. And it so sounded pretty good. It did sound very good. Why don't we no. finish out the radiothon on, in River? Oh, there's somebody in the booth. Yes. Yes, James McWiener be in there. James McWiener, hey, how you doing? All right, how, how are the calls coming in there? Uh, calls are still coming in, and uh, you can even hear them coming in as we speak. All right, well, you have headphones on, right? I do, yes. And Rob Franz has headphones on. Everybody else is going to have to kind of wing it because we're going to go to another call. Wait, wait. Can I just talk about uh, one Susan, Susan is clamoring to say something. Well, go ahead. You, you Who's... Oh, uh, Jim. Yeah, before Susan says something. All right, I'd like Jim to first. Oh, <laughs> Rob first. Jim second. Susan third. Caller fourth. And again, we have an open line at six three two six five hundred. I believe is the open line. Six four nine nine is the other line, and six nine zero one is our pledge line. Go ahead, Rob. I merely need to thank, and we need to thank Robert from Bayshore for, uh, or is that, is that Bayshore, not Bayshore. It's Bayshore. Two Bayshore. words. Bayshore. And Bayshore again. That's on the South Shore. That's. Uh, that's a place where the signal could be a, a, a lot better, I think. By moving to a more centralized location on the island, we'll be covering Bayshore. Well, Robert, thank you for donating, uh, some, or pledging to donate some money to 90.1 FM. I think it's Jim's turn now. Jim, go ahead. You know if uh, sea turtles are an endangered species? I imagine, I imagine just about everything is an endangered species these days. Some turtles are. Yeah. You see, the, the dolphins, I know that, that gained a lot of momentum because of the fact that they're such intelligent creatures. And, uh, you know, flipper and all that kind of thing. Uh, Faster I mean, than lightning. I certainly share the, uh, you know, the concern for turtles. And I think people should speak up about that, too. But, uh, but the tuna... It, it yeah. I don't know anything about tuna. I'll be honest with you. They just don't need to see. Really strange, but uh, I'm not the tuna anyway, so I don't really care. Uh, I but I am happy for, I'm happy for the dolphins, and uh, if we can do something to save, save sea turtles, too. I mean, sea turtles are incredible creatures. They will walk. Nature, nature is incredible. Right. Really, Are you going to be really talking in here on the air again? No, actually. I just have to go in and uh, take care of some stuff at the computer. So. Oh, I could do that for you. Well, uh, that's all right. I really don't have any, any need to be in here anyway. Actually, probably I'm probably more uh, in use. Would be more of more use in there actually, as for the wrap up. So. Thank you. <laughs> 
this is it. I'm going to say this, and then I think I'm going to leave. The person who rounded out the radiothon, 632-6901, and for your pledge is $20, take two of the following three books. Uh, Fire and Ice, The Greenhouse Effect. All about The Greenhouse Effect, written by David Fisher. It's a very good book, and it's hardcover, too. Uh, the great they're trying to hit somebody or something. Something. Oh, I mean, I great target for that. Well, you could read it first, then read hit somebody. Re I mean, you know, reading has gone out of fashion with a lot of people, but prove them wrong, folks. Pick up a book, you know? You see the commercials telling you to pick up a book. They mean it because, you, you know, it's the best way to get inside somebody's head and see what they were trying to say in the first place. Right. So you got the, uh, the Greenhouse Effect book. What else? Um, and the Grateful Dead Family Album which is a Grateful Dead family album. There's not much reading in there. <laughs> what? You found another one. I found like another one of those. It was in those cards somewhere. I'm telling you, we okay, have so many. Okay, over from the Dead Show. Last week we have a Grateful Dead family album book, and uh, what are those? Go uh, is there more? Still? The book itself is worth $30. Uh -huh. Two of these for $20. Uh, the third option you have is the John Lennon. You remember the movie, the John Lennon movie? We have the companion book to that, Imagine. I never got to see that, you know? That's I never got to see that. I, didn't see that. I, I heard Don't it was a great movie, and that's the But that was Probably a $40 book. book. That's a $40 book, so what are we doing here? What, two of these three, $20. Fire and Ice, The Greenhouse Effect by David Fisher. You're a very strange man. I can't believe the phone is ringing. 632 yeah. Fire and Ice, The Greenhouse Effect. Uh -huh. The Grateful Dead Family Album. Imagine, the John Lennon story. Two of those three for how much? $20. $20. And if somebody wanted all three of them? We'll make a deal. We'll make a deal. Okay. 632 Area code 516. Anything else? Has it $21. No. <laughs> That's quite a good deal, man. I don't know. That's yes, that. I have. Oh, my God. Somebody called. Thank you very much, somebody. I'm amazed that uh, all, all five lines aren't lit up with that. Oh, they will. They will. I have good bargains here. The Fantastics. It's off Broadway at the Sullivan Street Theater. I saw that last year. It's a really small theater. And if you get there late, you have to knock, which is what I did. <laughs> And everybody at the theater knew I was late. I was about 20 minutes late, and they all knew it. Susan's not here yet. They all knew it. I walked in. The people on stage, it's so small. The people on stage know when they come in. So uh, it's, it's in its 30th year on Broadway, and it's a $54 pair of tickets, yours for your $35 donation tonight. I mean, okay. if you miss this. The number is 632-6901. Area code 516. Give a call. We'll make a deal. We'll do something. But uh, most importantly, you're going to be contributing to a great radio station. We only have five minutes left, folks. Five minutes left in this radiothon, and then uh, the radiothon is history. We are more than a great radio station. We're your radio station. I mean, where else could you be heard and seen talking? We ain't nothing without you. Um, I want to get to these calls. So oh, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, please. Oh, oh, oh. Anybody else who calls for a pledge of 35 of, no, I'll, I'll mark down. $30 pledge will get you a $25 gift certificate from Mike's Place in Corum, which I understand a lot of our listeners go to anyway. Well, I pass by that. It's a place with the satellite dishes, right? I think yeah, that's the one. I've always wanted to go there. So, uh, you can go there if you make a pledge. $30 okay. pledge, okay, all right. that's $25 gift certificate, and a pair of tickets to any play at Theater 3. Come on, take me up on this. 632-6901. For those of you saying that there's nothing to do on Long Island, I think Susan's just proven you wrong. Now, give a call. Do one other thing. Do the right thing. 632-6901, area code 516. Make a pledge. Take a stand. And now, can I go to these phone calls? Please do. All right. Good evening. Well, well, we're just yes. about uh, done now. We'll be on tonight. Uh, can't wait another five minutes to find out. Another three or four more minutes here. Uh, can you see that at all? No. Well, let me get under the light. Well, I need to put four shots. Um, Proudford will be on in approximately, you know, for a lot of Five minutes and counting. Five minutes and counting. That's what time it is. We're just about there. In fact. You're a fucking dick. Oh, I guess that was a pleasant conversation on the phone. The good thing is that person is not within reach of my phone. It's not long. What do you say? It's not long for now. We have to take this into the studio. Like, uh, you know, power storage doesn't have to be on at all tonight. But I still have fireworks. You okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. And we got it on film. <laughs> and I live to tell the tale. He does his own stunts, ladies and gentlemen. You shadowed my knee, but everything else is fine. Come on. And notice I'm not even limping. No, good work. Yeah.
Well, it's uh, it's certainly filled with a lot of hypocrisy. And I think, uh, you know, we have to first of all get over this hurdle of saying, well, you say the United States is full of hypocrisy, you, you, you know, you can always go someplace else. Well, right. you know, that's, that's sort of against what the whole country stands for. We should be able to say something is wrong and be thanked for pointing it out. All right? Uh, that's, that's, that's being a true American. And anybody that tells you different is afraid of something, and you have to wonder what it is. So uh, you're a journalist, correct? All right, well, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll continue being a journalist, and you won't listen to any of the garbage that, uh, that the major papers and uh, uh, media people... I, I was talking to somebody, one of our listeners today, in fact, that told me, and I haven't verified this, but uh, it, uh, it, it's really pretty interesting. 97% of all the media is owned by 20 corporations. That's incredible. You have to remember who everybody is owned by. I mean, I was surprised to, to find out that uh, that the tuna company was owned by Heinz. You know, we got to keep track of these things. I'd like somebody to send me one of these, like, uh, bar charts or whatever. This kind of like a family tree that shows you who everyone's related to. Anyway, sir, we're out of time. I want to thank you for calling, but but keep uh, keep thinking responsibly. Remember, you're you're a journalist. You've got that responsibility. You know? Okay, well, the address, WUSB, Stony Brook, New York, 11794. Thanks very much for calling. Thanks to everybody who pledged. The Radiothon is drawing to a close. Mike Uhouse has brought a huge clock in here. Thanks very much, Mike. Uh, uh, cuckoo! Cuckoo! That's, not, that's you, Mike. Oh. Uh, this clock is operating at 4,194,304 hertz. Yeah, and you know, these are the clocks that are up on the wall. You don't read that little tiny print when, uh, <laughs> when you have it right next to you. What, what does that mean? Is it really operating at 4,194,304 hertz? Yes. Well, it's a, it's what a happens cosmetic. if you tune to that on a radio? What do you get? You get a little voice telling you the time or something? Well, there is no station at 4 megahertz. Well, let's get the noise it's making. That's, a, that's the noise it makes. So I guess that's 4 million hertz. Uh, fascinating. It's not going to do anything at all when we reach uh, midnight. It's an electric clock. Well, it's a battery clock. Uh, so that's, that's that. Anyway, folks, the radiophone has drawn to a close. Our figure right now, $25,265. Pretty good. Pretty good since our goal is $25,000. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody here. Thanks, everybody out there. And, uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, we got? oh, it just moved up even more. $25,355. <laughs> Thanks to the anonymous caller from Setauka. Happy listening. All right, listen, folks, we're going to be around for a few more minutes uh, inside the volunteer room if anybody wants to uh, call in a last-minute pledge. I'm sure we can fit you in. 632-6901, area code 516. <laughs> but uh, a real sincere thanks. How about everybody together? Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to... Uh, we're going to pay you back, we promise. We're going to pay you back with some uh, some better signals and some great programming ahead. Raz is here now at the Metal Show, and he's got a great show planned for you. I'll be back next week with brain damage. I always have brain damage, so I'll see you then. Always. Remember, folks, money makes the world go round. may not be moral, but uh, we all got to have it at some time, right? Okay, good night. Let's get around so I don't know. Yeah. Guys, superb work. Could I have that little mounting bracket? I raised 500 bucks? Eric, I'm going to stop it. Well, don't fight yourself. Can I have that little mounting bracket? Yeah, that's right. Can I have that little mounting bracket? We got we got another call on the pledge one. Is that... Did I really raise 500 dollars? Can I have that little mounting bracket? What's my goal? My goal is... Zero. Zero? Can I have that little mounting bracket? Who's the wise guy? Thank you. Why was my goal zero? Did you see me trip off the, the table? No. <laughs> I wish I had. You will. It's on tape. I'm doing macros of me because I really resent macros.
Fun and macro. Hang on, I gotta write what the title is of the show. I'll never get it. You should not take in any more pleasures. Hey, you can you can get some if you want. I have a lot of stuff. I'll get it for We did it. We did do it, also. <laughs> No. That was the important thing. <laughs> That's right. Did it go flying up into the air? What are you looking for? He wants to know if there's tickets left for Sarah. Sarah. Uh, I think they're all gone. Sorry. It's actually 3007, April J. That's which one. 3007. Oh, then in that case, I think they only give away seven. And now a parting word from Bozo Wiener. Yes. 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 Here's the child. Could we really like... Well, George would be thrilled. Yes. I yes. am extending Thank the invitation to you. all, all. Of you to join me next Saturday for Thanks premium so packing. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. I'll be there. Yeah. I'm doing you a favor, Mike. I'll be there. Thanks a lot. I'll be there. You know I can't come. You know I can't come. When do you want to have premium? We'll do it. Uh, uh, Saturday night. What are we doing? Um, garage sale. Garage sale. Garage sale. Garage sale. Garage sale. Garage sale. Garage Garage sale. 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 Garage I don't think there are any left. It looks like they all been closed. Did we give any to anybody tonight? Any uh, uh, special packages? No. Yeah, because we still have a bunch of them. Mm. Okay. They may be stapled to some other things. Okay. Playing on the table. Yeah, like. That may be in the back. Some packs. Jim Dexter, what kind of neat effect are you trying to do? Uh, How much of that five hundred bucks came from this room? Not much. We did get this away. Wait. What was the one of that five? Was that one of them a five hundred dollar pledge or a four hundred dollar pledge? No. Every five hundred bucks on my own? Come on, man. Come on, I can't believe that for a second. Oh, sorry. Yes, well. Trying to take all the fun out of it, huh? I don't have to find out about these things. The name was Grady. Print out? No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet, not yet. I'll find out. I'll bet you they'll hang up again. Fiona, 618. Yeah, it's just a little thing on your, by your fingers there. Is that the in here? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to leave my notebook here, okay? And, uh, Low light. One, two. It's, oh, hey, Susan. Question. Yeah. Three. Yeah. 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 I got to go Okay, now, i got to show you something. Bell? Bell, yeah. yeah. There's an index here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. 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 great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
not a clue. It doesn't give yeah, quality it's reading. Not, it's not commentary? Oh, I wonder no, if there's no, some no. relationship. Purely though. technical in nature. No. Purely, purely from technical. From blue and from... All right. Well, from eating, I don't know if there is. From the gut. Uh, may, maybe it's, there are two different... Maybe it's warm in Irish. Focus on bozo. Blue, but maybe the term gormless wonder ends up being the raw... May 7th. Unbeknownst to any of us. I mean, even... In other words, unbeknownst to somebody... Even if somebody is of an Irish background and uses the term gormless wonder, yeah. Maybe that's yeah. 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 But maybe it, 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 it was never clear that that actually was the right. Was the right. 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 Gorm from gourmet, meaning a gutless wonder. What are you doing? Well, that's closer than I have. Gutless wonder, you tonight. I'm just guessing. I mean, gutless wonder, I think you need someone who's a cow. But maybe someone who's a little off. Yeah. That's very interesting. It's going to be a USB party. Oh, that Susan? You can have all the cards you want. No, I remember this man works his bones off. Well, I thought like you didn't do anything. Oh, oh this, this okay? Who's going this a good one? to you? I don't really know. It's just really? a, uh, probably, probably like a, 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 a more straight ahead jazz vein. Yeah. Well, there's several of them. What is this? I don't know. How is that? That's a Tommy Dorsey. That's pretty good. It's surprisingly good. I mean, I'm not a Dorsey fan. Susan's already left four times. She just can't tear herself away. I'm sweating like... You Somebody open the window. <laughs> How's the Jack Tea Garden? Good, really yeah, good. Oingo, 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 Oingo pictured this. So add that to your. This is the best time the radio found. Wait, Ray was left over. Uh, I got some print out. Out. Hey, is that ET uh, video still around? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. What are those videos? I saw Star Trek Four. Anybody know? Guys, guys. Look at the look of confusion on his face. Huh? Oh, those, 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 Jim, you look those, very confused. Those are the ones that just came off, I think. There, uh, video. Who framed Roger Rabbit, Eric? What are some of the names? Got that? Jerry oh, Reamer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> somehow I thought it would be bigger, but uh, I'm happy with this. Fred Hawkins. What about Star Trek Four? Get that for me. You guys are too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Back, back. I don't see any, uh... Well, it was here an hour ago. I know that much. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any, um... <laughs> Ooh, well, yeah, there was some left. Yeah. Yeah. They were talking about at the end. Folks, oh, so why don't we just get premiums all the time and forget about all this, you know? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh... Well, these just weren't sent. I mean, who's to know we don't really have a radio phone? Yeah. So this is legit, this printout, huh? We gotta send, I guess, have it sent, yeah. huh? Yeah, we Whatever you do, yeah. don't lose it. Don't lose it. what? Like what the hell's wrong with that phone? Why won't it stop ringing? Right. I, 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 I asked one to answer it. Uh, like no, 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 I didn't want to. I'm going to dream of you. Let's change the picture on this. Oh, no. I'm sure. I will call it. I've got to reach under you there. No, that's not it. Oh, sure. Thank you. Absolutely. Sorry, can you hand me that, uh, that, that painting show? The Thank you. Yeah, he's good. Let's I woke it up. I'm, a low I'm looking at him, and I think it's... You know Mark like Stern? You yeah. don't know Mark Stern? I have him on tape. I, 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 thought, I thought it was yeah, Mark Stern. I thought it was Mark Stern. Brad's had five oh, lines with it. Now he's got one. What happened? What about it? Where is it? Oh, the calendar? No, What's our Vena record? No, yeah, I'm looking for uh, Jazz's magazine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Excuse me, anybody, you need this wire copy for I any feel reason? Like a yes, to throw away. I don't even know. No, the white phone. Uh, we should recycle that stuff somehow. That'd be nice. Oh, the grass wants to go down to CR4 and uh, rummage. I can take it to work. Is that where you're going? Yeah, give them that whole box. Of, of but make sure you rummage some stuff that they're not cards for. Great. Right. Okay. You're going to show us what you have. Okay, I'll, I'll show you. I'm still yeah. trying to find I'll meet you down there. <laughs> All right. Bless you. Thank you. All right. Don, you want their numbers? <laughs> Oh, did I get your no, finger? He's got a bingo. Let's see what a bingo looks like. Why don't you go around the other way? Anything else the radio sound is completely over, so you can stop taping. <laughs> yeah, Trace, that's your only appearance in this uh, whole 10 day. No, no, she's been on before. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> she's very photogenic. Uh, I'll camera that we think.
<laughs> Alright, we're gonna we have to get him one more thing. Oh, can I watch you climb oh. under the gate? Yeah. Farewell. I've never filmed anybody climbing under the gate before. <laughs> How does that yeah, Teresa yeah. song go? So long. Farewell. I, yeah. I hope you understand. No, I don't think you can go down. Well, there's an exit we can get out of actually. Yeah. Yeah. Really? You can go downstairs and out the side door. Yeah. Why? You can? Yes. Oh, thank you. Just go downstairs. Please, do not pass that you want at this point. Oh, we're going to break those laws. This whole building has low light. Oh, yeah. The light is high. You didn't get on film, I'm afraid. I've been on this side the whole time. Oh, those those little 20-minute tapes? No, it's a two-hour tape. Two-hour? Yeah, it's a 20-minute battery, though. Oh, that's good. Oh, really? I don't know. It feels like it. My mother has one that's those mini-tapes. They're all 20-minute long. Well, that's because the only volume is 20-minute long one. Greens are looking for a few good men. <laughs> but uh, you can buy two-hour two ones, too. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to have to let her in on that. Go to Genevieve. Genevieve? Yes. It's more than just a drugstore. <laughs> In fact, that drugs suck. I've really? tried them, yeah, but uh, the, uh, the tapes, are good. tapes are good. Tapes are good. Super Pharmacy's got good like shit, them. yeah. They yeah, they got George good... George and Sylvia. Well, they get shipments all the time. That's what's good about it. But, uh, Genevieve's, man. They expect from a chain. Do you have something at home to edit this on? No, not editing this. This is all coming to you live as it was originally shot. Oh, no. We're not afraid of anything. <laughs> We're showing it just the way it is. The whole union, the whole abandoned union. Have yes, of course. Oh, boy. That's what this microphone. Mm. Where's the mic? There it is. That's what the microphone Next time you're in a car, stick your head out. Well, you know, I've driven with one of these things. I mean, I've had people film me with this, but I've also held it myself as I'm driving. Uh -oh. Which is uh, not only oh dangerous, but also rather interesting. <laughs> and you, like, hold it up to the front window and watch things coming at you, and you just relive oh, the whole experience. My parents were just on vacation. I took the camera with them, yeah. my brother and sister, and they were looking out the hotel window at the view. Yeah. And my sister back into the window, and the whole thing shook, and you could see the big snap. <laughs> I have a video of my brother and my Just father. Just send that to America's Home, on his home videos. <laughs> They're playing golf in the wind and the rain. Mm -hmm. You can see water on the back of the waves. Let's go look at this artwork, whatever the hell it is. I've never, really, never really looked at it before. Do you remember there used to be this, this one on the on the wall there where there's now a beautiful bulletin board? Yeah. It used to be like a big face or something. Now it's mm -hmm. gone. Yeah. Too bad. Just okay. Do you have any that you can send out America's Home? Well, you know, I figure, you know, I taped about eight or ten hours worth of stuff here, but I can't think of a single thing that I can I can say is funny to anybody that doesn't know right. these people. I mean, yeah, as Mike Uhas is screaming every time the phone rings, there's, <laughs> you know, jumping up and down and that kind of stuff, but, you know. How about any other kind of video stuff you've shot? Well, see, I've only had this a little while, so oh. there really isn't all that much yet. Oh, but I'm sure eventually the day will come. When I do and something when you funny. Uh, $10,000. Uh-huh. 10,000 bucks. 10,000 big ones. Does everybody get $10,000? No, actually, I think, um... Oh, ladies! Here they come. We're going to see our form. Oh, she wants to go home. Yeah. All right, let's go see our Okay. But they're going this way. Well, uh, we'll probably, uh, Hope you have a key to get in. 